I'm Yadi Ramirez from El Paso, Texas, and I used to play basketball. I started playing um, basketball when I was five years old. And at first, I guess it was just different because before basketball, I was a cheerleader. And my dad introduced me to it, so as I started playing along, that's that's when I guess like the love for the sport started to kick in. As a little kid, I was always outdoors with my cousins, always playing with my cousin. Her name's Itzel. And it was always like competition between me and her. Like we would always play basketball outside my grandma's house. Little games here and there, I, it was very competitive. My dad was very involved with my basketball since I was seven years old. That's when I started going to AAU tournaments, playing AAU club and, and getting me out there and exposed. I feel like it helped me a lot at first. Um, I had a lot of fun doing it just because like we were constantly traveling. Aside from like being, you know, my dad and like him being my coach, it was tough just because like, like he got on me a lot of the times, but I, I, in the end, like that pushed me to kind of do more than what I thought I could. I was so, I was more of like, I guess like a defensive player. I wasn't, like my coaches would always, like in high school and even my AAU coach would always get on me and even my dad, like they would always get on me for, you know, not being so like, I guess, offensive minded, but I, I guess it was just more of like the height. And in high school, I was also, I would play, I guess like point guard even to like the five position. I was on the varsity team starting on my like my freshman year all throughout well like junior year. I made first city all district in, in our district I made first team for my so freshman and my sophomore year. I faced a meniscus tear, ACL and MCL. My ACL tear it was at a at a showcase in Dallas. It was during a game, I remember getting a steal and going down, I guess, on a fast break. And I was trying to get past a defender. And right when I tried getting past her, my knee kind of like buckled. I've gone through four to five surgeries on my, only on my right knee. My meniscus was my sophomore year going to my junior year. And then my ACL was my junior year going into my senior year. And my MCL was this past year, like when I was here at UTRGV. I guess one of the re like, reasons why I wanted to come and play, even regarding like my injury was just cause I guess like they believed that I could, even though I kind of felt like well, you know, it's like just skeptical just because of like my injury, but um, that was one because even Tidwell like told me that he, like this setback was going to be a comeback and if they believed in me, that helped me believe in myself that I could do it. Yeah, it was frustrating just because I, I guess me and everyone else, we all expected for me to come back stronger from my ACL because it had it was already a year that I was out when I came and started playing and then just the fact that another injury came it was it was frustrating cuz I came here to do something and I was unable to do it and it it's it's frustrating cuz you, you know just also like with the surgeries and the rehab and all going through the whole process again it was frustrating Like I didn't want to come back and, you know, go through another injury, but not only that, like just kind of like be, I guess like a setback for the team too. Because if I'm not ready, then like, how am I benefiting the team in the long run if I'm not able to do my part? So I felt like I was physically unable to just perform anymore. It's definitely different just cause like when you see the girls practicing, there's sometimes like that itch that you just like want to go in and like play with them and stuff. But in the end, like, I mean, I guess things are the way they are and I just try to stay as positive as I can and go on.
I decided to still continue like with school here at UTRGV and still be a part of the girls and be a part of the team because anything that like as far as like what I went through last year they're the ones that got me through it. I decided to be a student um, manager, student assistant for our coaches so that's currently what I'm doing right now. I help the coaches out like with whatever they need help with in the office. The girls there's not much I can do like on the court but off the court um, I offer like comfort if you know they need it like positive encouragement anything along those lines. I aspire to be a physical therapist. My plan is well for myself I want to get my master's and try to be that inspiration to people the way that people tried helping me and like tried inspiring me.